Yeah, I'm a little bit late, but that's why it's so great that this is a requested review. Hello, movie lovers. I saw Alice in Wonderland when I got my wisdom teeth out. Perfect timing because I had nothing to do all day but wallow in my own pain. I didn't see this movie the first time around, so it was kind of really great that someone requested I review it because I have actually been very interested in seeing it and seeing what Tim Burton had to do with this new Alice in Wonderland franchise. I really like that Disney decided to do a continuation of Alice's story instead of just remaking it. As a continuation of the story, this Alice in Wonderland takes place mainly 15 years later after Alice's first encounter in Wonderland. We see her in the real world first, and she's kind of a very dreamy girl, always head in the clouds, not really paying attention to what's around her. People are intrigued by her, but they also think she's a little bit weird. She's at this big dinner party when a rabbit comes and kind of lures her back into Wonderland, and this is where the story really picks up. As it turns out, it has been foreseen that Alice needs to come back to Wonderland in order to dethrone the Red Queen. And to do this, she must take out her Jabberwocky. And then you go through this whole backstory about how the White Queen was defeated by the Jabberwocky and blah 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 blah. So Alice needs to become the champion that everyone knows she can be and save Wonderland from its dictator. And the story has a pretty good moral. You can live your life in the dreamland, but eventually you must come back and take responsibility. At least that's kind of what I got from the ending of it. Anyone else get anything different? Or Tim Burton was a great choice of director for this film because he is one of those guys with this crazy outlandish sort of view on things and he is able to make it really psychedelic and out of this world and special in his own kind of way. He definitely has his own style when he directs and with his art direction and everything like that. I think he's a great director. But you know what you're getting when you go to a Tim Burton film. I was a little bit afraid that Wonderland was just going to be too much. It was going to be out there and crazy and I'm happy to say that I thought it was the perfect amount of weird I thought all the CGI characters, like the Cheshire Cat, the Cheshire Cat was fabulous. He was their best recreation. Mia Wasikowska, Helena Bonham Carter, Johnny Depp, and Anne Hathaway all make up this all-star cast, and I think they do great, especially uh, Helena Bonham Carter. She's terrific at playing evil things, and the Red Queen was awesome. You know, perfect sort of quirky evil. And she, I just loved her. Mia Wasikowska, I know I'm butchering her name, but I, this was a good breakout role for her, and I look forward to seeing her in movies to come. And Hathaway's White Queen was quite interesting. I wonder if her arms ever got tired from holding them like this the whole film. It's just that's the kind of queen she is. Now, I was pretty excited to see what Johnny Depp was going to be able to do with the Mad Hatter because, you know, he's really good at playing extreme characters. Unfortunately, he was not my favorite part of this movie. In fact, he was just kind of like a side note for me. I noticed he kept going in and out of accents. I think he had at least three or four different accents, and I'm not sure if that's because his character was mad. Or if he just didn't know how to pick one and stick with it. It goes without saying that I enjoyed the Wonderland part of this film a lot better than the reality. I think the story within Wonderland was a lot better than the reality story. And while it, where you needed the reality to kind of tie everything together and bring it back, it um, just wasn't interesting and it was a little bit shallow. The score was really good. Visually, this movie was awesome. Thank you, Tim Burton. You did a great job. I would rate this movie 3 out of 5 stars, and that's because it was just 
a lot of fun to watch. This has been the first Request Rachel's Review. I hope you liked it, and if you did, give me a big ol' thumbs up and let me know. If there's anything you want me to review, it could be a movie, television show, music, if you want me to try something like that, uh, leave it down below. I'm open to anything, and uh, I'll see you guys soon. Take care.